Welcome everyone to what I think is a new original format of video where I'm going to present a cynical opinion of mine about the gaming industry. We hate you so much because we love you so much. Now at the date of recording it is currently the 30th of January 2019 which means Crackdown 3 is actually only two weeks away and I bet none of you can contain your hype. Oh, was that you didn't realise it was coming out? No one knows it's coming out. No one knows it's coming out. Now let's take a look at what exactly is happening here because it does not paint the prettiest of pictures for Crackdown. Now the game was announced back in 2015 and since then it has faced multiple delays. Off the bat, I don't think delays are a bad thing. If you're excited about a game and the dev or publishing arm say, do you know what, it's not quite ready. We need a bit more time. We're going to delay it. That's a good thing. You should, that, that, I don't see why people get so mad about this. Delays are a good thing. But should the game face multiple delays, that's when it starts to murky the waters, I guess. The image of it's not quite ready would then turn into the game actually has major issues. Uh, and then that would start to sort of worry the fans. It does worry the fans. This is, we see this all the time. People start to lose interest. Rumors start flying around on forums and everywhere in the gaming community. And most people would just expect it to fall into development hell should delays go on for years such is the case with Crackdown 3. Now this actually creates a massive problem in itself really because the publishing arm is gonna to wanna to see some sort of return for their investment. They're gonna get tired eventually of their delays and then go to the dev team and say, here's the date, you have to hit it. Regardless of whatever the state of the game is, it has to come out on this date. That applies more pressure onto the dev team. You end up with burnout, you get stories about people doing X, Y, Z amounts of overtime. It's just a very toxic environment and then the game ultimately comes out undercooked and we see this all the time where games are sort of pulled out of the oven, thrown onto the plate regardless of what state they're in. We see it all the time in the gaming industry. This is not new. However, this is what makes Crackdown 3's case so interesting is usually the publisher will still market the game. They'll make it look as big and bombastic as possible, whether it be massive social media feeds, trailers, X, Y, Z, you know what it is. Make it look as big and grand as possible, secure those day one sales, and then just make as much money in the shortest amount of time you can if you know it's a dud. Crackdown 3, however, is two weeks away and Microsoft are dead in the water. They are radio silent on this. Actually, I'd like to correct that statement. They tweeted just this morning, uh, mentioning Crackdown 3 among a slew of other games coming out in February. So uh, their marketing is currently a tweet. Now if you follow any sort of media then you're probably familiar that most projects will come with two budgets. You'll have a production budget and a marketing budget. The marketing budget is usually double whatever the production was, that's just how marketing works, it's really expensive. And games aren't cheap to make so Crackdown 3 has probably had millions invested into it and yet the marketing is just dead. So why is Microsoft staying so quiet? Where is the buzz? Where is the hype? For this game! Now I do think it's worth pointing out, and it is generally worth the mention, uh, that Microsoft were in a very different place back in 2015. They were really struggling against Sony, who had just knocked out of the park this entire gen cycle. But back then, they thought they had a fighting chance, so they just sort of almost panicked really, and they just announced everything that was coming up, which sadly <laughs> resulted in Crackdown 3 being announced far too early. You could argue a good two, three years too early. Keeping people excited about a project for that long is a challenge in itself, but Crackdown, it's not a bad franchise, but it's just not at the same caliber where that's even in the realm of possibility. It has its fans, but it's not a console seller. It should not be upfront leading the charge, but yet here we are, E3 2015, and it stood toe to toe next to Halo. It's fair to say that the odds were stacked against Crackdown from announcement really, and then with every delay those odds only just got worse. Sadly, I think the fact that we're not hearing anything sort of tells us everything that we need to know about Crackdown 3. It was announced years too early and the footage that has been bleeding out during its development cycle just isn't enough. With Microsoft staying so quiet, it seems like they even know that this is a dud product and they would rather it just release quietly to mediocre reviews than blast it through a hype train and then face some sort of disappointment backlash. It seems damage control has already begun and to be fair, you can't really ask Microsoft to do anything more than that. I'd rather a game just come out quietly, we all just pick it up, sort of shrug our shoulders, say what a shame, it could have been better, than have it be promised to us as something bigger, bolder, more of a blockbuster, and then it not living up to that. <laughs> Although quietly releasing a bad game didn't go too well for Square Enix recently. It's a shame as Crackdown is a really fun franchise. I had a great time with the first and second one, which most people agree wasn't as good, but I still had a great time with it. It's a great franchise. And I hope it proves me wrong. I hope I have to sort of do a 
I was wrong video. But with everything that's happened and then looking at the other releases for February, the odds aren't just stacked against Crackdown. It's almost unfair. This entire narrative of it being announced too early, it's lost. It's clearly lost support from its publishing arm. It's just unfair. It's just unfair. But what do you guys think? Have I just reminded you that Crackdown is coming out or are you actually really excited and you're picking it up come February 15th? Regardless of what you have to say, let me know down below. And as always, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. You have fed my ego for the day. There are other videos on this channel. Some are like this, some are not. And if you click on a few and don't think I'm too annoying and obnoxious, then maybe consider hitting subscribe. If not, then, you know, you tried. Fair play, that's all I can ask of you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Let's go.